Hi everybody, Dr. Sean here with a video this time about a set of muscles in your body that you probably don't know anything about. Most of the people on the internet seem to be interested in uh, these kind of muscles which are uh, skeletal muscles. So uh, trying to develop uh, advanced uh, musculature, muscle hypertrophy is what we call it in, in the medical science terminology. But I want to talk to you about not skeletal muscles that hang on your, your skeleton. Uh, but I want to talk to you about another set of muscles called smooth muscles. And you probably don't get much or haven't even heard anything about this, but they're incredibly important. So I want to expand your horizon. If you're interested in optimizing your health, becoming as healthy as you possibly can be, then you really need to understand smooth muscles and the role that they play in your health, your physiology, and the condition of your body. Uh, ultimately, that affects your appearance, affects your performance, and the quality of your life. So, uh, real quick, I'll tell you a little bit about skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle is voluntary muscle. So, that means it's, it's uh, something that you can control. Uh, you fire it. It's not something that is involuntary. Um, you, you have control over it. S smooth muscle is part of the autonomic nervous system. So uh, it is not something you have voluntary control on. It basically happens uh, automatically and it uh, fires. These muscles are controlled by sign uh, uh, signaling molecules uh, that, uh, and also hormones and uh, uh, neurons in your body uh, that signal to those muscles, those, those smooth muscle cells to fire. The other interesting characteristic about uh, smooth muscles are different from skeletal muscles. Typically, uh, skeletal muscle fire, so you, you, you contract and you release. So, uh, smooth muscles are better described as, as, as constant t tension. So, it's kind of an elastic tension that's, that's always uh, present when they're, they're being signaled. Now, they can be turned on and, and off, but those signaling, typically the way they fire is that they, they maintain some tone. So, uh, very different kind of a, a system, how they operate compared to uh, the muscular skeletal system. So, let's talk a little about the important areas where these smooth muscles are. So, um, a big one is the gastrointestinal tract, your digestive tract. Uh, the, the smooth muscles um, uh, help to regulate uh, the, the movement of foods and uh, food through your GI tract and your, your digestive system. So uh, important physiological functions controlled by smooth muscles there. And a really big one that I talk a lot about is uh, the vasculature. So arteries and, and veins, arterioles, venials. Uh, part of your blood vessels. So you have these smooth muscles that control dilation and contraction, tension uh, in those, um, uh, in those uh, uh, walls of those arteries. And uh, maybe I'll just give you a quick picture of what, uh, what that looks like so you can have some understanding. So uh, you can see um, the pink layer in there, which is where those muscles line. And um, so it's, it's important to understand that they they are, are controlling your blood flow. So in times of crisis, you, um, you, you, and, and different times of uh, relaxation, you'll have different amounts of blood flow and it's a uh, part of your uh, smooth muscle that allows you to respond to that. So um, it, when you really need to function, you really need that blood flow, um, you, you want that, that, uh, that blood flow controlled there as efficiently as possible. So. Uh, don't just build your muscles in your in your on your body. You got to build those smooth muscles, which are really important. Another uh, 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 area where these these uh, uh, blood vessels or smooth muscles reside are in what's called sphincter. So, uh, kind of control of uh, valves that control uh, mus muscle uh, tissues that control your 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 di your, your your bladder, um, your anus. Uh, and your esophagus. So uh, you don't want your bladder and your, your anus uh, malfunctioning. You want, to, you want to keep those super healthy. So uh, unfortunately, uh, the majority of you probably are heading towards diapers. Yeah. Uh, heading towards a loss of bowel and bladder control. Yeah. So you want to start getting yourself as healthy as possible to get a game, game plan in place because uh, 
I certainly have one because I don't want that to happen. That's going to happen as late as possible and for the briefest period of time if I must tolerate that because I'm a type A. Uh, I'm not into soiling myself. Maybe some of you are anal expulsives. You're all about that. Uh, but the majority of people I think that are watching this video probably want to retain uh, the control of their bowel and bladder. So uh, optimizing your health uh, is 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 re part of the, the need to do that is making sure that you are optimizing those smooth muscles in your vasculature. So um, that's a really important function. The uh, next thing I'd like to talk to you about is uh, how some of these smooth muscles control and how they can manifest. So let's pay attention. I want to uh, I want to educate you about things that you can watch to see, you know, are my smooth muscles, you know, functioning properly. So one, a, an interesting kind of a phenomena that, that uh, happens uh, that is a marker of health and we kind of take it for granted is blushing. So uh, little kids, young people, uh, healthy people in their 20s. Uh, blush and they uh, those that blush real easy have really good vasculature and good response to do to uh, the signaling for those smooth muscles that line that so uh, if you're somebody that blushes uh, you may not like it because you know uh, people say oh look he he or she is blushing but it's really um, typically if, if you're a guy who's blushing it's girls that say that and you you might feel embarrassed about it, but the truth is those girls like it because biologically, uh, it's interesting. Studies show that people who blush uh, are typically regarded by other people see that as more reliable. So they kind of wear their emotions and their truth on their sleeves. So um, it's, a, it's a really healthy expression of your cutaneous vasculature. And if you see that happening, and I'd like to make the point because I think it's super interesting. If you see that happening in your children and you're a parent, uh, that's the time you can recognize that your child feels remorse or feels bad about some kind of behavior that they did. And uh, that's when I, when I see that in my kids, I go up and I put, put my arms around them and say, you know, dad can see that you're upset about this and you, you understand that, that, this, that you did wrong and, and give them a hug. Uh, use that as a biological expression uh, that, you know, to, you know, reaffirm them and uh, be happy that your kids blush. I mean, be worried if they're not blushing, if they do something bad, because uh, they may not be getting it. But blushing is a good thing, and ideally, um, you want to ma maintain your blushing. Uh, sadly, adults lose that capability because of chronic disease. And, you know, our autonomic nervous system does not work as well. Uh, the smooth muscles don't work as well. So, uh, I'm going to hang out there as a biomarker for us to start take it, paying attention to as we optimize ourselves to look for blushing. See, blushing, it can be preserved longer in your life and see if it can um, be induced in, a, in an older age. So I'm, I'm going to be looking. You can't really see blushing uh, in yourself, but if you're around me and you're in my life and, and I start to blush, let me know about that. And I always reaffirm that when I see it in other people. So uh, it's a good thing if you uh, blush. Another interesting phenomena uh, that I'd like to talk a little bit about is um, skin turgor. So skin turgor is just how, how fast uh, skin pops down. Now, we were always trained in medical schools and emergency medicine physician especially that skin turgor can be really slow in people that are dehydrated, so we pay attention to that, and it's true. Um, but then we also learned that it's collagen that's responsible for how fast your skin snaps back. So if you're older, you have decreasing amounts of collagen, um, you lose that elasticity. But it's the elastic connect, uh, connection, that tonicity from smooth muscles in your vasculature that really, I think, is more important than your collagen. Here's why. Because when I exercise, boom, that thing snaps back. When I'm in the sauna, boom, that thing snaps back. But when I'm not doing those things, it can be, you know, uh, a half hour before or an hour after or something. Uh, I've lost that upregulation of my enhanced blood flow, which is improving um, the circulation and, and the functionality of those smooth muscles. So I don't know why we we're trained so much about collagen. You hear that all over the news. And it's not that collagen is a bad thing. And I certainly believe from a histological standpoint, I mean, if you look at the, 
the tissues under the microscope, there is de de decreasing collagen. But let's talk about the blood flow. Let's improve blood flow. So the things that I saw that would improve my skin turgor are exercise, going out in the sauna, and going out in sunshine. Uh, the, the reason why when you go out in the sunshine, it, it, it triggers the production of nitric oxide, which those cells that line your vasculature respond to nitric oxide and the smooth muscles uh, will, will dilate and so you have greater tenacity. So um, you want sunshine. Don't put sun SPF on sun, sunscreen. Uh, the sun's, you, you're not going to get that nitric oxide production. So um, that's for another, another video on sun, but you, you want sunshine is a good thing. And the other time I see skin turgor improve, the elasticity snapping back is when I fast. So doing awesome things to improve your health, sunshine, exercise, the sauna, stress hermetics, and uh, uh, also doing um, cold immersion. All of those things um, have, uh, uh, along with fasting, have, a, have a, uh, a direct effect on improving you, uh, improving your physiology. So pay attention to um, those, those things that make you good. And the other factor I want to talk to you about are pulses. So as I've worked to optimize my health, and I've worked very hard on optimize my health, but uh, I, I would do 10 times as the amount of work that I've done to optimize health uh, based on you know, to get the results that I've seen. So the ROI, my return on my investment is, is well worth it. But one of the cool things I've seen besides my, my skin turgor getting better is my pulses have become visible. So I'm just going to move in a little bit closer here and allow you to see um, my pulse right there. And hopefully uh, the camera allows you to see that visible pulse. That's a brachial artery. And you want to be able to see your pulses. And uh, I, of course, you know, have that in my, my other, other side as well. Uh, you can see that. And then um, I mean, this is a little bit harder to, to get... Um, in here, but my uh, my radial artery, uh, which is right there. Hopefully, you can see that pulsating as well. And um, I have it on both sides. And sometimes you can even see my ulnar artery. So you can see my my abdomen pulses. You know, from my aortic um, aorta, the large the largest artery you have in your body that pulsates in, in my abdomen. So I didn't have visible pulses three years ago, even two years ago. But as I continue to do uh, all the things that I do to optimize blood flow, to optimize my health, my arteries uh, are now uh, show visible pulses. So one of the things I think is responsible for that is, is I've eliminated uh, a lot of my, cl my, my art, uh, clogged disease. Let me turn it this way so you can see this a little bit. This schmutz that starts lining your arteries um, or plaques that uh, start to... Um, cause disease when the vessels and, and impairing the blood flow. So what happens when those arteries become hardened is um, the, the walls are hardened and they're less uh, compliant. So I want you to think about a fire hose, you know, so you see firefighters and they charge a, a hose. I used to be a volunteer fireman. When you charge that hose, you see the water shooting down, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of elastic. It's a, you know, a cloth like rubberized inside that, that hose, and you can see that water flowing down. But let's, let's pretend it's hard, like a PVC pipe. You're not gonna see that, you know, water's flowing in there, and it's through this hard surface. So that's, that's what happens, basically, to your arteries when you have chronic disease and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, and inflammatory changes from a you know, poor metabolic health causes these physiological changes, histological changes in those arteries. So you don't see your arteries. But it's time we start uh, optimizing our health. Quit fooling around with cholesterol and, oh, I'm going to lose weight. And, you know, that, that's good. I mean, loss of weight should be a consequence of optimizing your health. But you really want to get into a mindset where I'm going to do lots of things to improve my health so that I can, I can have a, a better quality of life ultimately, uh, I, that I can improve my appearance and I can improve my performance. So these are the, those are uh, the, the outward manifestations of somebody who's optimizing their health. And it's, uh, again, I do a hundred times more of the, the things that I do uh, to be able to enjoy the quality of life that I have. So uh, check for visible pulses, 
uh, as that, that may begin to emerge. In my case, I saw just a little flash of a pulse when I was in the sauna from sweat flashing off a light. And I started feeling that pulse and I realized, hey, that thing is starting to get more prominent over a period of time, months to use, you know, uh, weeks to months using the sauna. And uh, of course, uh, I, you know, I eat a very low carbohydrate diet and I cut out processed foods and do lots of other things to, um, to help improve the quality of my life. But uh, what I basically want to try to get you to do is start thinking about watching for your arteries. And if you can't see your arteries, turn it around. You know, make that an objective to see your blood flow because wouldn't you like to be able to see your arteries and know that they're wide open and they're compliant? Um, because I rely on my blood flow. So that, that's a really cool manifestation to, to track. So um, I hope uh, this, this uh, little video talking about these smooth muscles uh, and their role that they have in your vasculature and, uh, uh, and how it, it, it contributes to uh, your overall health and what you can look for in visible pulses uh, great skin turgor, uh, snapping, uh, snapping back, and improved functionality of your your sphincter. If you have a lot of reflux in your so, you know gastroesophageal reflux disease, that sphincter will perform much better um, as you improve your health and uh, those smooth muscles start functioning better. And um, and then you know nobody wants to have uh, a deficient uh, poor tone to their anus or their their bladder where they're leaking. So. Um, anyway, I want to I want to try to create uh, these videos that help you to understand what you got to do to become healthy, why you want to become really healthy, and what do you look for. So um, ultimately, what I'm going to do is try to do short little videos on all the different steps that I do with time. But this one's just to whet the appetite, introduce you to smooth muscles, uh, visible pulses, skin turgor, and these other things to watch for. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, the opportunity to share this information with you. And thank you for following me. And uh, if you, as always, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them, uh, answer any questions, and uh, <clears throat> or ask ask uh, questions, I should say, and share this video with other people and give it a like if you like it, so I can help uh, to try to promote uh, what my passion is, which is optimization of health and sharing that with other people. All right. Well, thank you very much. See you next time.